constituent roundup. So the constituent roundup is an AI-based tool that seeks to assist in ensuring that constituent voices are being heard by the legislators that represent them. So to talk a little bit more about what the problem actually is, back in 2022, there were 81 million messages sent to members of Congress by their constituents. And so what that means is, within a month, legislators can receive up to thousands of emails and phone calls drawing attention to various issues. And so what ends up happening is that it's usually junior interns and at times junior staffers and at times interns who are the ones that are handling those messages. And so although it is the core responsibility of a congressional legislator to represent the issues and concerns of the constituents within their district, it becomes really difficult for that legislator to truly understand and digest the perspectives of their constituents when there's such an influx of messages going into their offices. And so the constituent roundup makes use of data in the form of email logs of emails sent to congressional offices through office emails or web page contact forms, along with the transcripts of phone calls and voicemails made to those offices. That data can be processed through natural language processing and then generated back Generative AI can be used to create summaries of the positions held by the constituents within a legislator's district. And so if you look over here to the left, you can kind of see an example of what that might look like. So every month, the legislator would receive their constituent roundup. Number one, it would contain what was the most pressing issue that constituents brought up that month, and also what percentage of the emails and phone calls that you received were about that issue. And then number two, it would also be important to touch on what other issues came up frequently, right? So for example, I've written here, four constituents phoned in about gun safety following the recent threat of a local high school. One constituent attempted to draw your concern to a broken streetlight on Fifth Avenue. So maybe that last concern isn't even necessarily something that's super relevant for a congressional legislator, um, as it is more of a municipal issue, but that's something that of course their office could forward to local officials that could handle it. So in general, this information is super important for the congressional office to know. And then lastly, engagement, right? So informing the legislator of what their relationship is like with their constituent. So how many emails and phone calls did they receive that month? Is that up or down from last month? And is it below or above the national average? And so that way, the legislator can kind of understand, do their constituents know that they can contact them about issues? Do their constituents feel comfortable contacting them about issues? And if not, then maybe there are improvements that can be made with regards to that relationship. So in general, the constituent roundup is sort of founded on this idea that clearly legislators live incredibly busy lives and have numerous responsibilities on their plate, and so it just is physically impossible for them to read every email and listen to every phone call. And so the constituent roundup is sort of a way for them to, without taking too much time, still be able to understand and listen to, to the perspectives of their constituents. Thank you.